Hello everyone. Today we're looking at the Maze Runner chapter 53. And uh, you know there, there's not a lot of excitement in this chapter. It's a lot of preparation. And so it starts with um, Newt getting out of the meeting and coming to see um, Teresa and Thomas. And uh, a funny thing, when Newt comes by, Thomas sees him and he lets go of Teresa's hand. He doesn't even think about it, but he <gasps> lets go of her hand. Um, I wonder if that's ever happened to you. <laughs> not, that's not my discussion question. But he lets go of her hand and acts cool. So what's the news? The news is they're easier to convince than Newt thought. And everyone agreed. Now they just have to decide who's going to stay and who's going to go. As all of the, um, oh, what do they call them, the council guys, um, they go out and they talk to their team members to see who's going to stay and who is going to go. And it looks like actually most of the people are staying, but a few people are going to, sorry, most people are going, but a few people are going to stay. And once they figure out that, it's time to get ready. They are packing backpacks. They're getting water to everyone. They're storing food. They're making weapons. They're just getting everything ready for this crazy journey to the Griever Hole. Wow, this is pretty crazy. Now, we still don't know who's going to distract the Grievers, but... Um, well, I'm sure we'll figure that out later. But they're getting ready, and uh, Teresa goes and helps Chuck deliver water. And Thomas is like, hey, sugar coat it as much as you can. Lie to Chuck if you have to, because uh, I, I don't want him to have too much stress about this. And Chuck is acting strong, but he's all sweaty. His hands are sweaty. His face is sweaty. He looks nervous even though he's acting really, really tough. And then the chapter ends with Teresa and Thomas going to the deadhead secret spot where Thomas always slept. And uh, they talk about, man, what are we going to do? Who's going to do it? And Thomas is like, we, it's me or you. We have to be the ones that put in the code. And if we die, Newt or Minho. And that doesn't make him feel very encouraged. But then... Um, the, Teresa also asks, like, what do you think wicked means? Immediately, Thomas realizes, and I think we've talked about this before, world in crisis, kill zone, extermination center or, or detention. I, I can't remember. But we saw it on the plaque before, and we put the pieces together that that's what the acronym was, wicked. And now for Thomas and Teresa, it finally clicks. And they're like, oh, that's what wicked meant. Wicked is good. They're some kind of corporation trying to do good. Or something. We don't know. And uh, with that, the chapter ends with Thomas and Teresa not having much hope, but trying to be as positive as they can. Some vocabulary words here. First one is blanche. Blanche is to make white. Um, so when, uh, when they share to the rest of the Gladers that they're going to go into the Griever hole, some of them probably were put off, were afraid, um, were blanched. They turned pale. They weren't excited about it. And, uh, they rejected the, the offer or the idea. And that's, uh, Blanche. Frantic means like crazy, um, uncontrolled. Adamant means without changing your mind, stubborn. Um, in some stories, they talk about like fantasy, adamantium. And adamantium is either a metal or a gem, gem that is so strong. It's like one of the strongest materials in, in the fantasy world. Usually a diamond. Um, can be referred to as adamantium or something. Um, it depends on the fiction, but it just means really, really strong, unmoving, or stubborn. Innovative is creative, different, new. Crinkled, um, that's like crinkled is crumbled or make wrinkly. 
And as Thomas and Teresa are talking, uh, Teresa like crinkles, crinkles her forehead. Discussion question. Regarding to Chuck, do you think that Thomas and Teresa should have lied to him or sugarcoated the fact that they're going into the griever hole? Um, should they have just told him the truth on how crazy it's going to be? Or tell him like, hey, this is going to be a piece of cake. Come on, you got this. It's going to be super easy and wonderful. What would you have done? And what do you think they should have done? Of course, please make your own discussion question. That's all the time that we have for today. But thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Book Club Preview. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Hey, if you have any questions about the video today, uh, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. If you had any other vocabulary words that you wanted to know what they meant, uh, let me know. And also, if you're interested in maybe joining one of these book clubs, um, please leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.